causing a lot of chaos when he was a kid. So they started calling him chaos. The name stuck. Here we go, folks. Don't blink. Touch of the gloves and we're underway. Basically a coin flip according to Caesars William Hill and the odds makers. You know, talking of don't blink, Brad Dead. I don't think Chaos blinked. The whole yes, walk no. of Michelle Ferreira, he just stared at him. And I remember when I was fired, it's like, don't take your eyes off your opponent. It's exhausting to do that, okay? <laughs> it's exhausting. And you look away at some point, he just spent 15 minutes staring at him in the eye without blinking. Well, That's you can do it. serious You can do it when you're fighting Frankie Edgar pretty easily, right? But Michelle Ferreira is going to take his time. This is the longest UFC fight for Chaos Williams. Holy smoke. Well, but he's got Michelle Pajeda in front of him. And he has to respect him. Oh, one, two, and a kick to the body. Not as this dude is they got a Look at how hard and how quick that combination was by Pajeda. A one, two, and a front kick right up the middle. Yeah, and look at the size of Pajeda. I mean, that man is absolutely... Wait, he's a big dude. He's jacked. Just massive for the division. Six foot one. I mean... Just a huge athletic Brazilian to watch. And he's a very of experience. We said almost 40 pro fights. He fought nine times in one year at one point. He fought seven times in 2018. Reversing into the UFC in 2019. Heavy hands from Chaos. And he's, he's a very difficult puzzle to crack because look at the unorthodox movement. Then he has the switching of stances, the in and the out. You know, the, the side to side motion. It's very unorthodox and it throws you off. It's easy for us to talk about Chaos Williams and those guys, but Michelle Pajeda made wholesale changes to his. His, his his team, his fighting style, everything. When he moved to Vegas, and you know before, he missed weight one time. But now, we don't even really worry too much about that anymore. We worry about Michelle Pajeda and what type of fight he's going to put on. Because he works with the PI. He's, he's got a nutritionist. He's doing everything right to try and really make a run at the top of the division. Leg kicks from Chaos Williams. Now, Harris doing a really good job of staying far on the outside. Right? He's obviously seen the knockout power of Chaos Williams. If you're standing in the pocket, you've got a chance of being caught with one of those shots. Yes. As we see, he's all the way out here. He's got the longer legs. He's got the acrobatics. He's got the kicks and all that type of thing. So this style of fighting, as you said before, Dan, all the way in or all the way out, yep. it's working for him. It's all the shimmy and fainting too. Look at how much he's fainting at Chaos Williams, trying to draw out those big strikes of Chaos before he goes in. Williams trying to look for his way in here. Last time out for Michel Pereira came in September here in Las Vegas against Salim Limadaya. Got it done. Performance of the night. Third round submission win. It seems that Chaos is looking for the perfect opportunity. He's waiting for Michel Pereira to plant his feet right in front of him so he can find the shot. Oh! Counter shot from Williams after he ate the kick. He caught it there. He caught the kick and then two punches. That's the danger in throwing those front kicks against a guy like Chaos Williams because he's so explosive and he hits so hard that when he gets an opportunity to let loose, he really lets the punches fly. UFC Fight Pass is the exclusive home to some of the best organizations in combat sports, including LFA Cage, Fury Cage Warriors, and Submission Underground. And the UFC Fight Pass or download the UFC app to check out the schedule of upcoming live events. I love the way Chaos Williams cuts off the octagon. Mike, look at Chaos. Watch how he takes those two steps to the left. So that Bahia has to, he can't go in a circle, right? He's constantly against the side of the octagon. And then when he tries to circle to the other way, Chaos just takes a slight step to the right. He's never allowing him those outs like we saw in the Fettis fight. Well, he's created a trap, right? He's backing him up against the fence, and then when he's got nowhere to run, that's when he's got to unload with the bombs. Like, it's in just there. It's crazy that Pajera has been hit with that strike twice, and he continues to throw that front kick up the middle. He's got to be very careful. That's how Abdul Razak Al Hassan got himself in trouble. It was that leg kick left him open up top, and Chaos Williams ended the night. Sometimes don't have his that hard, though. You know, if Michelle Pajara has been doing this his whole career and he likes that technique and he feels comfortable throwing it, even though it's to his detriment at this moment in time. Oh, nice one. Not his that hard, but that was a good shot. Oh, beautiful knee there by Pajara, right up the middle. Final 30 seconds of round one. That's what you want to see if you're Pajara. You want to go more up top. Because that can be defended, but they're not going to counter a head kick. Most times guys just block head kicks. You don't have to worry about those big strikes coming back in your direction after you miss with a front kick up the middle. Second round. <laughs> UFC 
Fight Night is presented by the U.S. Army. I got a second round. Fight's on. Underway after a touch of the gloves in round number two. Back and forth. First round, each landing their strikes. This year fighter was Chaos Williams, according to the striking numbers. As you said, DC, when Pedeta stays in his lane, if you will, right, doesn't do an actual cartwheel with the yeah. fight. It's a much more measured approach. He's a tough guy to track down. That's what we've seen so far. Well, you can see the difference in the technical skills, right? Chaos Williams landed some beautiful leg kicks, but when he throws the hands, he's a little bit loopy. He's a little wide, whereas Pedeta doesn't do that. Everything's straight. Everything's technically the way it's supposed to be. And he barely missed the tip of the chin there, Chaos Williams. Yeah, that one two came real close. <laughs> but it's just kind of like the first round here. Again, Pajera skirting around the outside. Chaos cutting off the cage. How do you score that first round, Dan? If you, if you were uh, who would you give that to? It, I mean, it was so close. I, I can't really. That's one of those rounds where, where you're just happy not to be sitting in that judging chair. Uh -huh. Because somebody's got to get it. And it was a very close round. Nobody landed much of oh, oh, Caught the chin there. Yeah, that was a really good, long, straight right hand. You know, all this length there, turn the shoulders in. Oh, now Chaos Williams puts it for it. Yeah, but that's what I want to see more. Chaos is, has, has to go for it. You can't just expect Michelle Pajera to just be there to hit. Yep. You know, Michelle's doing a good job of exploding into range and then exploding out of range. Then he gets on his back and circles the octagon. Oh, okay. Chaos is going to take the fight to him here, which he is doing a good job of. Yeah, right here, he's in a good spot, right? Push my head up against the side of the octagon. It just kind of blitzed them because like I said, you know, when the guy's a little more technical than you, you don't want to sit in rage with him. Corner told Chaos Williams they need more volume. They need him to throw more than one at a time. Mm -hmm. He did that there. And he landed and advanced in this position. I know he didn't knock him out or land anything damaging, but he was in a better position to get side of the octagon in control than he was just standing out there. You know, it's easy for a cornerman, though, to say, hey, Chaos, you're going to get busier. When you've got a guy like Michelle Bajera standing in front of you, look at what, what's going on. Look at all this movement from him. Yep. The changing of stances, the side to side, the shaking of the hands. It's very, very hard and difficult to read when you should attack because Bajera is in perpetual motion, never stays still, constantly moving his arms around, giving you misdirection, fakes, things to right, think about. Look, look, you can see it, right? You can see it. Look at when Bajera's right in front of him moving. Look at Chaos. Chaos starts to rage. He starts to kind of like take pictures. Now he lands a couple of beautiful leg kicks there. But when he's doing all this straight, it's not allowing Chaos to figure out where he's supposed to throw those big follow strikes. He's getting a little mesmerized by it, you know, because you're looking for the perfect opportunity. A lot of the time, there isn't a perfect opportunity. You've got to take a risk. You've got to go into harm's way. You've got to let the hands fly with the possibility that you might catch one back. When Pajeda goes southpaw, I'm surprised he's throwing more kicks up top. He kicks so hard, and he's so powerful. I'm surprised he's throwing more head kicks up here. It's not a typo, it is over 30 significant strikes to just a dozen for Michel Pededa. Yes, it's a close fight, but the numbers favoring Williams so far. Yeah, because Chaos is the one that's throwing the leg kicks, landing the punches when he can get close. Pajeda's doing a lot of feint and moving without much substance behind it. He sets the trap, but he doesn't react on it. Yeah, that's right, DC. Very well said. All show and no go to a certain degree. But when it does go, it's very effective, it's very powerful, and it will do some damage. So that was a nice, yep. that was a really good powerful front kick. That's going to hurt Chaos Williams, that's going to slow him down. I'm very surprised we don't see more kicks from Pajeda here. And you can tell, Chaos does not want to get hit to the body by this guy. He kicks too hard. Chaos Williams riding some momentum off his own wins, but also fellow Michigan UFC contender, Jamal Hill. Blitzing forward is Williams. And that was really good work. Three solid shots. Yes. He's only got the attention of Pajeda. It looked a little wobbled there. Williams right in front of his corner. You heard it there. Can you hear him? You know, a little bit of word chaos, a little bit of word. Take this round from him. 45 seconds. Oh, I need a body from Pereira. Oh, that was some big knees in there close. Oh, we got up and see the blood on the face of Williams a little bit as he reverses position one more time. Back and forth they go. 20 seconds. Very close round. Round still on the table here. With short time to go. Close round, neither guy's really taking advantage.
final seconds. Look at Pajeda staying busy on the ground here as Williams tries to fend him off. Big statement made through the final minutes. Couple of takedowns and ground and pound. They go the distance. Who would have thought? Chaos Williams and Michel Pereira. Now a show of respect. We'll see. It's anybody's guess who wins this one. Official decision is next. By unanimous decision, Michel Demolidor!